Is it hard to access affordable, healthy food? Then listen carefully. Daryl Addison, an African-American inventor, has patented a process for growing food on demand. He called it Torpedo Pot. Torpedo Pot is a fully automated flower pot that gives you control over your plant's environment. All you do is add soil, seeds, and plants to the flower pot and watch it grow. Yes, Torpedo Pot grows the rest. Visit www.torpedopot.com. Welcome to the African Diaspora News Channel. My name is Clarice Nzinge and today I bring you guys another fresh news story from the continent of Africa, specifically from my home country, Cameroon. So this one happened in a city called Yaoundé, the capital of the country. So a wife, she, <laughs> a wife cut off her husband's manhood because he cheated on her. So basically what happened was that the man left home, told his wife that he was going um, on a mission from, I mean, he, he said it was work related. His wife believed him and, you know, she did the necessary and we told him goodbye and stuff. The man left and went to a guest house with his side chick. Now he went to the guest house with his side chick and they were having a good time. And the side chick took pictures of herself and the man in bed and sent it to the man's wife to spite her. She sent us on WhatsApp with messages like, yeah, I'm with your husband right now, we are chilling, you know, blah, blah, blah. And, you know, the, the, the man's wife and the side she got, I mean, they went back and forth on WhatsApp, the side she was provoking the wife, insulting her, you know, sent her those pictures. And the woman was, you know, she's a woman, she was devastated, she was angry. And all of this was going on, the man did not know that that's what the side chick had done. And the woman did not confront the man either. You know, she just kept it to herself and she sat quiet. So after the man, you know, God finished his getting away with his side chick. He came back home. I was like, you know, yeah, I'm back home. The wife was like, okay, how was the how did the mission? How was everything? I was like, yeah, work was fine and everything. The wife did not say anything. She acted like she did not know what was going on. So he came back home. She served him his food. When he went to bed, they even had sex that night. And when the man was asleep, the wife woke up, took his sharp knife, and cut off his manhood. The man is currently trying to recover from. I don't know if it's going to be, well, we don't know what can be done to, you know, surgically um, get his manhood back up and running the way it's supposed to be. But the man is in the hospital actually battling for his life right now. So yeah, that's, that's, <laughs> let us know what you think in the comment section. No matter what, violence is never the answer to anything. That's my personal opinion. Well, feel free to share your opinion in the comment section. And I'll see you guys next time for another fresh new story from the continent of Africa. Bye. Living in America as a black person, you recognize there is one set of laws for you and one set of laws for those, especially in the white community. In our book, Passive Aggressive Racism in the System of White Supremacy, I take you through times in my life when I first started noticing white supremacy. We teach you how to recognize it, identify it, and also counter it in our book. This book is a beginner's course for those that are just starting to wake up and open their eyes to see the system of white supremacy. As a black American person, you must understand this system because this system is life or death to you. How you handle it, how you deal with it, it can affect your mental health if you don't understand this system. Pick up our book, Pass Aggressive Racism and the System of White Supremacy, today on Amazon. Hello, everyone. Please make sure you subscribe to the African Diaspora News Channel app on these platforms.